stories don't define you. How you tell them will. Hi, I'm Sarah Elkins, your host and chief story maker of Elkins Consulting. I cannot believe it. Next week will be the 100th episode of this podcast, Your Stories Don't Define You, How You Tell Them Will. It has been quite a journey getting to this point, and I haven't done it alone. That's why the 100th episode's theme is community, and I'm looking forward to sharing a variety of theories, descriptions, and ideas about that theme from members of the community created through this podcast. Please join me next week to celebrate this milestone. Your stories don't define you, but how you tell them definitely will. It's not what happens in your life that creates your identity, yourself with a capital S. It's how you talk about those things. As you listen to this episode, I encourage you to think about the stories you share about your work and your life and what it is that motivates you to move forward, to take that next step. When you know the answer to that question, you can be more intentional about setting yourself up for success when you find your motivation is faltering. Motivation can be as simple as asking questions. For me, the key is curiosity. I've been asked how I stay motivated, how I keep myself moving forward, and I've always had a hard time answering that question. I just go, sometimes to my detriment. In the StrengthsFinder assessment, I can easily see it's about my top two talents, strategic and activator. But as I was hiking on the mountain behind my house yesterday, I realized I don't just go. I was breathing hard as I made that first ascent, following my big dog up to the first high point on the mountain. And I found it frustrating, really. I take that path multiple times a week, and it's still hard for me. It's a challenge to keep my pace as my heart pounds and my hips ache. I pushed on up the mountain, thinking that if I didn't want to go past that first high point, I could take another path back down, making a shorter loop than the one I had originally intended as I left the house. But I got to that high point, looked out at the small city below me, and pressed on toward the next high point. Again, my breathing got harder, my legs and hips started to feel the fatigue of the ascent, and I told myself I could take the next loop back down, and go to my nice warm house for a hot cup of tea. I also reminded myself that once I started back down the mountain, it wasn't going to be so much work and my heart rate would slow. Knowing that, I looked up the path to see a familiar curve and I chose to keep moving up the mountain, eventually getting to the summit. The mountain is so familiar to me. I generally know what's around each curve that I find myself endlessly curious despite that familiarity. I'm curious to see what might be around that next curve. I'm curious to test myself, to test my persistence, my fitness level. I'm just curious. That's it, I realized. A big part of my motivation is that simple. It's curiosity. There are days, blustery and cold, or far too hot and dry, that I get to a high point on the mountain and take the shorter, easier route to go back down rather than explore or choose to go to the summit. Those are the days I consider my state of mind, my physical limitations, and my motivation falters. But if I didn't have those days, I really wouldn't be able to relate to my coaching clients because everyone has those days. Curiosity is what motivates me and curiosity can be cultivated. My strengths are my strengths, but curiosity is part of my character. What will happen next? What is my challenge this time? What will I learn? Who will I meet? Will I fail? Will I succeed? What will my impact be? How can this positively affect someone else? Curiosity about the future, Curiosity about myself and my abilities? Now I know how to answer that question about what keeps me motivated on my journey of self-employment and life in general. How can you cultivate curiosity? Well, ask yourself a question every morning. What beauty will today bring? Ask yourself a question every time you hesitate to work on a project or face a difficult conversation with someone. 
What will happen next when this is complete? What positive impact can I have in this conversation? Those questions will eventually become part of your daily routine and will become instinct, creating opportunities for deeper observation and motivation. If curiosity isn't something that truly motivates you, find out what does so you can use that with intention. Thank you for listening to Your Stories Don't Define You, How You Share Them Will. Please visit my website for more podcast episodes, blog posts, and information about how I can help you develop and share your stories at elkinsconsulting.com. Tell me that you're going away